I am inspired by the famous novel Little Women. Like many photographers like to recreate this topic because it's just wonderful and it looks fabulous on the photos. Book and movie take us to the unforgettable era full of lovely romantic dress and vintage stuff. This classic romantic period is visually very attractive and it inspires many photographers. If you also have a feeling that you want to create some lovely photo with the similar topic, you don't need any special equipment. I also won't use any special studio technique, only camera, Sony Alpha 7S II and a tripod. So let's see what is it possible to create in front of white wall and with no additional light. You may wonder, but for this type of photoshoot I always use white wall. Everything in front of this wall contrasts well. And because these photographs focus on the portraits or on the details, no colored or special photo background is needed. But if you have some, it's just an advantage. I use no additional light. With no light set, the photo looks more natural. So as you can see, no photo background, no light, and you can make nice photos. However, in the room is one big window, which is situated on the right side of the photo set. What makes photo looks from old era is dress. You just can't take photo shoot with no outfit preparation. But you don't have to immediately invest to some dress you will use only for one photo shoot. I am sure you can find some appropriate outfit even at home. Now let's see what I can use. I have one vintage dress, which is soft pink colored and with a lot of cute details. They are suitable for this kind of photo shoots and easy to combine with linen or prawn. Nothing can go wrong with white colored blouse. You can simply add some tie in whatever color you want. And I also like this dress. I have never used it in photo shoot in a whole frame, so this will be a new challenge for me. I often combine white color to any colored dress to unite the photo. If you don't have any special hats that suits to era of little women, use some scarf. It's handy and I am sure some one colored scarf can be easily found at home. If the scarf is too much colored, you can change the saturation in post-processing. And here comes also one another thing, and it's makeup. Definitely don't wear strong makeup while creating old era photos. In fact, I don't use any makeup in these kind of photo shoots. No makeup for face and also no eyeshadows. If you really need to cover your imperfections to feel comfortable, use just light cream and for the lips really soft lipstick. While creating this style of photography, I think of some raw materials. I am sure that the movie has a strong connection with home. I mean warm home, full love and beauty. That's why I like to use food as a prop. It can be baked bread, baguette, some sweets or even fruits or vegetables. Let the natural feeling of the food be expressed well, so don't have everything perfectly clean or artificial. Another category of props are things that represent the handworks. It can be sewing, baking itself or activities which are tightly connected to the air. Be sure to use materials that are natural and in moody colors. I like to use linen, dried flowers or lace. Prepare set rich for colors, but don't forget that colors must be soft and moody. When your set is ready, you can focus on the framing or in other words, on the things you will see on the final photo. Always try to make portrait and detailed photo. When taking portrait, try to leave some negative space above head. You can then cut the photo to the wanted size as you will like. When taking photos portraits, I usually turn to one side where is window and this will lighten my face. I like to create unusual portraits like for example turn my back to the camera when I want to emphasize some details. Photos of details of the whole scene are really important. Always make some extra photos on details on your set. These photos will better connect your viewer to feel the atmosphere of the current scene. When taking photos of props and stuff, you can also incorporate your body. This means for example your hands or feet. Photos will still focus on details, but will be more personal. Post-processing of your photo is the last step before posting photos on Instagram. These kind of photos are not hard to edit. 
I use Lightroom. After importing photos into library, you will need to white balance your photos. This is important not only because you took photos in front of white wall. With this step you want to avoid color shift on the whole photo. Another step what I like to do is to lower the saturation of some colors. It may happen that you will use some stuff which colorfully doesn't match historic era, so you can lower the saturation of this object. This will help you to consistently hold the colorful photo. You want your photo to look as much natural as it's possible, so I recommend not to use any saturated presets. I hope you like these tips and that they were somehow helpful for you. You can see that even with no light and no photo background, you can create beautiful photos. I wish you good luck while creating your mini projects and have some fun!